Great Cake Mods has released the Bald Eagle for Planet Zoo, and it actually flies. Today we are building for this absolutely beautiful creature today in Planet Zoo, so without further ado, welcome back everyone to the channel. Wow, another speed build. Who would have seen this coming? Hello everyone. Oh my gosh, it's good to be back. All right. So, this is very much a weird speed build because I actually did this on stream. Yeah, I actually streamed for like the first time in a very, very long time. Uh, I was originally going to have a Planet Zoo tour for today. Unfortunately, things kind of came up and I wasn't able to do that. However, I do have a lovely little speed build for you all. And today we're building for the Bald Eagle. This habitat is very much based off of the Cincinnati Zoo's Bald Eagle enclosure very loosely. Um, and there's still some other elements that I want to throw in here myself that really help it stand out. Uh, it's very much a one-off habitat, kind of like the, uh, what was it? It was the Malayan Giant Hornbill mod. Um, very much a one-off habitat with this because I don't really have any zoos that this would be able to fit into right now. And I just wanted to get in here, build with you guys, kind of talk on stream a little bit, talk about the upcoming DLC and all that stuff. By the time that this comes out, maybe we'll know what the DLC is. I know World Animal Day is going to be the day before this comes out. So maybe there's a DLC. Maybe you guys can make fun of me for calling it a mountain pack. And then it's actually a celebration pack. Maybe it's a South America pack. And they just kind of threw us like the palace cat and stuff to throw us off their tail, you know? Uh, so basically what we're working on over here is working on kind of like the general infrastructure of the habitat. Uh, I did not want to net over this habitat. That would have been a very much big pain in the ass. So instead, I really wanted to focus on a lot more on natural scenery, a lot more on rock work, as well as some kind of like man-made infrastructure. You could see that with that pre-made um, what do you call that? Like a retaining wall, I guess you could call that. Very much happy with how well that came out. And also throwing in these beautiful hedgerows that we got in the barnyard animal pack, of course. Absolutely love these guys. Oh my gosh. And then we kind of decorate them a little bit more with some little taller pieces all throughout there. Came out so well, you guys. I love how well this looks. Doing some other work in here as well, just editing those barriers so that the animals can use the absolute maximum of their habitat space. And adding in some terrain paint. I love the taiga terrain paint. It just looks so freaking beautiful. And then we get started on actually filling out our habitat foliage. So I get started because I wanted to make a fall inspired kind of habitat. I am going all in with both the leaves over here, both the tropical leaf litter as well as the fall leaf litter. I feel like the tropical is a lot more realistic even in like kind of taiga environments. However, those little orange leaves too that we got in the twilight pack are so freaking helpful. Like they really help a habitat really come together, especially if you're wanting like a lot more color and stuff. They just look so good. Also adding in the dry, quote unquote, buffalo grass. I know it's very much a taiga inspired zoo, but like that green just matches that taiga grass so freaking well. And I also add a little bit more of like darker green buffalo grass throughout here as well. And you guys can actually see I'm pulling up like <laughs> my reference picture right there too. I recorded this all on stream and I'm not going through and kind of slicing stuff out. So you guys can just enjoy just we're going to go through the stream super fast. So that's pretty much it. I love those pieces right there. The diamond leaf willow bush. Oh, it's so good for like general ground cover. I love it. I really do love it. And also adding in some more of those like, um, whatever, those hedgerows. I'm making custom enrichment as well. And this should be on the workshop by the time this video comes out. However, if it's not on the workshop as of then, uh, just let me know. And then I could get that posted up on Monday when I return. Very, very excited. Um, yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm very excited to go on vacation. And I'm very excited for you guys to actually enjoy this habitat, play with it, all that stuff. I don't know. It just came out so good. These eagle mods just work so well. So my original idea was to have a boat over here for the eagles to perch on. And then it would say no fishing. Uh, I thought that would be very fun, very ironic, because bald eagles do like to fish a lot. They are very much pes piscivores, I guess. 
Uh, they also eat a lot of small mammals and other small birds, but they are very good fishers, which is very cool. Adding in some custom fences here as well, I opted for kind of like that um, chain link fence. I thought that looked pretty cool. And also adding these custom perch points. Again, some of these Great Cake mods are so smart. They're so innovative with how well um, the birds are able to find their way around the habitat. So essentially how it works, they use an enrichment piece and they fly from one point of the enrichment piece to like a different part of the map and because of that you can actually make completely custom enrichment that they could perch on and stuff like that it's it just works so well it works so well here we are decorating kind of the outside of the habitat too uh, always very important not only to decorate the inside of the habitat but the outside as well it really helps create a much fuller picture you know it's it's not like you go to the museum and you just see like canvas all everywhere with paintings on it you go to the museum and you see kind of like frames that match the art extremely well and that's exactly what you're doing when it comes to like planet zoo building as well it just looks so good like that now moving on here, really, really happy with this idea. I think this was Paul who suggested it, another Planet Zoo content creator. He said that if we turn the birch roots upside down, we get some really good, really good looking, um, kind of like breathing roots that kind of come out of the water and stuff. I thought that was a really fun idea. Here's our no fishing sign right there. I really love how well that came out. But um, yeah, that's really it. The breathing roots was a very fun idea. I'm using these fence pieces. Again, I forget who actually made them i checked in the beginning of the stream like a steam workshop blueprint but then my game crashed so i wasn't able to figure out who made these but if you guys just go back to the stream i do show off the name of it uh so you guys will be able to find the creator through that way so i'm so sorry if i forgot your name uh but yeah just adding some extra details on the outside of the habitat uh, i really do love doing this little technique over here sinking those arrow wood bushes in and then i also use some saplings as well i opted for the oak saplings because they just look so good they feel very small park zoo kind of vibe so i was so happy to throw those in there but also adding some ferns all throughout the habitat too i felt like we needed some more darker greens and also adding some kind of saplings all throughout here too the uh, pine saplings especially so helpful so beautiful they just look incredible and yeah that's really it. Just adding some extra details all throughout here too. Adding some extra birch trees and whatnot. And I think I do add some stuff like custom signage. I do all that stuff. I made a joke where I deleted the entire habitat and then I remade it all in one second. And it, it, good times. We have good times on the stream. So yeah, those are Lion's Modular signs. So I wanted to get some of those guys in there. Looking at the Saiga for some reason. Yeah, just classic normal leaf stuff. But uh, yeah, I throw in some Lion's Modular Signs, easily my favorite blueprints out there. Uh, so I throw in some of those, I get rid of like all the extra stuff that came with it. And yeah, that's it, just tuck these signs in wherever I can. And I also add in some kind of rubble, kind of like some pebbles everywhere. You'll see that in just a little bit. But um, yeah, it just turned out so good. <laughs> Adding in the American flag, of course, because we do have the bald eagle. I wanted to make the colors a little bit more dilapidated too, so I kind of hid them a little bit, uh, kind of muted them a bit, yeah. Hostas are such a good plant over there. I just love using those whenever I can. Uh, so adding a little bit of that, adding in some general foliage cover, um, and also getting rid of the blue. I really felt like the red, white, and blue was a little too distracting. So I opted for a little bit more red. I thought that looked a lot better. Also adding in those pebbles as I was talking about, I stole these kind of shamelessly from leaders. Um, zoo uh petting zoo really and adding in some extra guest utilities and stuff like that to help make the habitat seem a lot better a lot more pretty and honestly that's it so we can just jump right into the cinematics because we don't really do too much after this so yeah let's jump in right here and with that being said Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate you guys stopping by. If you guys want to see more live streams, let me know. I honestly don't really have the time too often, but if you guys are open to that kind of stuff, I would absolutely love to hang out with you guys again. It was so fun. Have the most wonderful, wonderful days. Hope you guys have enjoyed whatever the DLC is that was revealed yesterday. I don't know if it's actually going to happen. My money's on no, but hey, I'll eat my own shoe if that's not the case. Have a great one. Take care and goodbye.